Before we jump into the assertion, it is vital to initially comprehend what molecule gas pedals are. The Tremendous Hadron Collider, LHC, worked by CERN, is a 17M ring of superconducting magnets. It is the world's biggest and most impressive molecule smasher, representing the pinnacle of human logical accomplishment. As a matter of fact, it's so powerful that it could reproduce the states of the primary snapshots of the universe. Yet, might this machine, designed to uncover the mysteries of the universe, hold the key to something substantially more? CERN, established in 1954, is one of the world's most famous exploration associations, with 23 part states and endless researchers. It is a center for collaboration and development. The LHC is CERN's flagship project, but it is only one piece of a huge organization of molecule gas pedals and investigations. Imagine a course not so much for vehicles or planes, but rather for subatomic particles, in a trial of skill, diligence, and surprisingly, the texture of room itself. The LHC speeds up protons to almost the speed of light, sending them on an impact course that duplicates the energy of the universe right at the moment of the Big Bang. The impacts create temperatures commonly hotter than the core of the sun. A variety of magnets directs the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems maintain temperatures colder than space. The pillar inside the LHC is designed to crash at four areas around the gas pedal ring, corresponding to the positions of four molecule finders, Atlas, CMS, Alice, and LHCB. Every detector has a unique purpose, researching various parts of molecule physics. Together, these detectors act as giant cameras, capturing pictures of these impacts. Specialists then sift through the flotsam and jetsam, searching for indications of the elusive Higgs boson, otherwise known as the God molecule, and other irregularities that might uncover the universe's essential building blocks. By focusing on the microcosm we gain insights into the universe. However, with each answer comes another question, and with each discovery, another test emerges. The LHC isn't just a scientific instrument. It is a demonstration of human curiosity and progress. It epitomizes our persevering drive for knowledge and our craving to figure out the key forces that shape the universe. However, as we push the limits of what we know, we must also consider the moral and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of exploring the unknown? Might our quest for understanding inadvertently release forces uncontrollable to us? In the sacred halls of CERN, where the limits of human knowledge are continually tested, a discovery has emerged that has left even the most prepared scientists uneasy. Brian Cox, a former scientist at CERN and a specialist in molecule physics, recently said something that both captivated and disturbed the world. His words resonated with chilling clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to reproduce a small-scale Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right, a little version of the very event that brought forth our universe. Cox also discussed the implications of this goal, highlighting the LHC's unprecedented potential for making pivotal discoveries, such as unlocking the secrets of the Higgs boson and investigating dark matter, a mysterious substance that makes up most of the universe. Imagine grasping the power of creation, the ability to summon the very essence of the universe. It's an alluring possibility, but one full of hazard. The mini Big Bang is not a theoretical concept. It is a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy inside the LHC replicate the conditions that existed at the birth of the universe. It's like standing at the dawn of history, witnessing the beginning of existence itself. However, with such power comes immense responsibility, and the question remains, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go wrong back in 1978. The Russian physicist Anat Borsky encountered a disaster that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Proino, Russia, a discharge failure caused a proton beam to strike him directly. The beam went through his skull, entering the back of his head and exiting through his nose. Despite the severe injury, Borsky remained conscious, even walking to a treatment center. His cognitive faculties remained intact, but the beam caused localized tissue damage, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the enormous power and potential risks of molecule gas pedals. 
The dangers associated with a molecule smasher like the LHC are not to be underestimated. The potential for unforeseen reactions, for altering the very fabric of existence, is the stuff of science fiction, as well as real concerns voiced by respected scientists. One of the most unsettling and intriguing concerns related to the LHC's experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. These cosmic entities are like vacuum cleaners, devouring stars, mysterious forces lurking in the depths of the universe. That the LHC might potentially create such a substance, even on a small scale, is staggering to both the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole one day grow uncontrollably, eventually consuming the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have assured the public that any black hole created would be unstable and would vanish quickly. Still, this slim chance has fueled fear, speculation, and awe at the power we wield. Understanding how the LHC could create a black hole involves the fundamental principles of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy released is so immense that it distorts the fabric of spacetime itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight and then dropping a heavy object onto it. The fabric bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that anything nearby would be drawn into it. This is a simplified analogy for what could happen at the LHC, where, in the realm of quantum physics, the laws of the universe behave in strange and wondrous ways. There is a theory that extra dimensions may exist within our reality, hidden from view. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a small black hole. This unusual behavior has caught the attention of several prominent scientists, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his writings, he warned that the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels, leading to catastrophic vacuum decay a process that wouldn't just destroy the Earth but might actually obliterate the entire universe. Sir Martin Rees, a renowned English cosmologist and astrophysicist, also expressed concerns about experiments at CERN. In his book Exploring the Fate of Mankind, his words were not cautious. They were filled with existential fear. He described a worst-case scenario, where a failed experiment could cause vacuum instability, triggering a phase transition that would ripple through space-time, potentially engulfing the entire universe. Rees assigned a low probability to these catastrophic outcomes, but he argued that even a small chance should be taken seriously. The stakes are incredibly high, and the margin for error is razor-thin. The scientists at CERN have run simulations, analyzed theories, and taken precautions to ensure the safety of the LHC. Brian Cox himself has acknowledged that the risks are there, but the pursuit of knowledge drives us forward. Brian Cox himself has acknowledged that the risks are there, but the pursuit of knowledge drives us forward. He emphasizes that the benefits of exploring the unknown outweigh the potential dangers, as long as experiments are conducted with care and responsibility. The discoveries made at CERN could revolutionize our understanding of the universe, Unlocking secrets about the fundamental forces of nature, the origins of the cosmos, and the mysterious substances like dark matter and dark energy that make up most of the universe. Despite reassurances from scientists, the ethical and existential dilemmas persist. What happens if our search for knowledge crosses a line we didn't know existed? Could humanity's relentless curiosity inadvertently lead to its downfall? These are questions that weigh heavily on the minds of both scientists and the public. CERN represents the pinnacle of scientific collaboration, with researchers from all over the world coming together to push the boundaries of what we know. However, it also serves as a reminder of the dual nature of progress. On one hand, it is a testament to human ingenuity and the power of cooperation. On the other, it highlights the immense responsibility that comes with wielding such power. As we stand on the brink of new discoveries, the Large Hadron Collider continues to operate at the cutting edge of science. The particles it smashes together are tiny, but the implications of its work are enormous. Whether it's uncovering new particles, confirming or refuting theories, or revealing hidden dimensions, CERN's work has the potential to reshape our understanding of reality itself. Yet, the question remains. How far should we go in our quest for knowledge? 
The risks, though minimal according to current scientific understanding, are not zero. As we continue to explore the universe on both macro and micro scales, we must remain vigilant, ensuring that our pursuit of answers does not jeopardize the very existence we seek to understand. In the end, the story of CERN and the Large Hadron Collider is not just about science. It's about humanity's unyielding desire to learn, to understand, and to push beyond the limits of what is known. It is a story of wonder, caution, and hope. A reminder that with great power comes great responsibility, and that the pursuit of knowledge, while noble, must always be tempered with wisdom. Far-reaching concerns encompass the LHC, and stress that thorough security measures are set up. Exhaustive surveys and conventions ensure that the LHC's tasks are conducted with the greatest amount of scrupulousness. Cox reassured the public that the energies involved are well within the natural scope of the Earth's environment, and the chances of creating a stable black hole are cosmically low. Even if one were created, scientists say it would be so minuscule and unstable that it would dissipate quickly in an eruption of energy, a phenomenon known as Hawking radiation. It would be a brief moment of cosmic wonder, a fleeting glimpse into the void, and then it would be gone. Some have speculated that the LHC's experiments could open a portal to another universe or dimension. While this idea is largely dismissed by mainstream scientists, it has captured the public's imagination and become the subject of fear, myth, and intrigue. What could lie beyond our universe? Could we accidentally unleash forces or entities that we don't fully understand? The notion of opening a door to hell has been sensationalized in the media further fueling uncertainty. But how did this idea arise, and what does it mean in terms of scientific exploration? The concept of extra dimensions isn't new in physics. String theory, a leading contender for a unified theory of everything, proposes that there may be more dimensions beyond the usual three of space and one of time. These extra dimensions could be compactified or hidden from our perception but might theoretically be accessed under extreme conditions. Imagine the LHC as a giant key, unlocking doors that have been sealed since the earliest days of recorded history. When protons collide with energies never before achieved on Earth, they could create ripples that test these hidden dimensions. If these dimensions exist, the LHC could reveal them. However, it is important to note that while the LHC is extraordinarily powerful, there is no definitive evidence to suggest it will open a portal to another universe, let alone to hell itself. Regardless, the allure of the unknown, combined with the enigmatic nature of quantum physics, continues to captivate the public's imagination. So, should we be worried about the LHC and its potential dangers? It's easy to be swept away by sensational headlines and fears of global catastrophe. However, the reality is that the scientists at CERN are acutely aware of the risks involved. They have taken every precaution to ensure that their experiments are safe continually monitoring and assessing their work with the utmost diligence. The potential benefits of this research, the breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe, the discovery of new particles, the exploration of dark matter, are truly extraordinary. This is not just a demonstration of human ingenuity but a window into the very heart of the universe. However, like any great leap forward in science, it comes with its risks. We should approach it with a balance of wonder, respect, and caution. The Large Hadron Collider represents the forefront of scientific inquiry, where theoretical physics meets experimental reality. Its true potential to answer fundamental questions about the universe, such as the origins of mass and the nature of dark matter, is unparalleled. Despite meticulous safety measures and detailed calculations, the LHC still evokes a sense of mystery and fear among some. The sheer scale of the machine and the energy it generates are awe-inspiring. Each new experiment opens the door to uncharted scientific territory. While most scientists remain confident in the safety of the LHC's operations, uncertainties persist. What if new, unexpected anomalies emerge that challenge our understanding of physics and the laws of the universe? The LHC pushes the boundaries of human knowledge and tests the limits of our control over nature. As particle collisions recreate conditions unseen since the Big Bang, the significance of these experiments raises existential questions about the potential consequences of altering the very fabric of the universe. Nevertheless, the LHC's accomplishments in particle physics have been remarkable. 
it led to the discovery of the Higgs boson, advanced our understanding of the standard model, and opened pathways to potential breakthroughs that may one day shape our technological future. Despite the risks, the pursuit of knowledge remains one of humanity's most ambitious endeavors. The journey of scientific discovery is rarely without risk, and the LHC is no exception. Its experiments explore the frontiers of physics, where intuition no longer applies. For decades, physicists have tried to understand the fundamental forces of nature. Gravity, electromagnetism, the weak nuclear force, and the strong nuclear force, all of which play a critical role in the formation of matter. The LHC stands as a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity, driving the quest for knowledge in ways that were once unimaginable. It is not just a tool for scientific investigation but a beacon of collaboration, bringing together the brightest minds from around the globe to unravel the mysteries of the universe. At the heart of the LHC's mission is the search for answers to questions that have fascinated humanity for centuries. What are the fundamental forces that govern our world? What are the true building blocks of matter? How did the universe come to be as it is today? While the LHC has already achieved extraordinary milestones, such as confirming the existence of the Higgs boson in 2012, it continues to push the limits of our knowledge. Each collision of protons within the collider carries the potential for discovery, from new particles to previously unobserved phenomena. Yet, with such power and potential for discovery comes the responsibility to exercise caution. Scientists, although confident in their safety measures, remain ever mindful of the risks, both known and unknown, that come with probing the very frontier of physics. Controlling the forces that shape the universe, or even creating phenomena like miniature black holes, inevitably raises concerns. It is a reminder that scientific progress is not without its dangers. Despite the strict safety protocols in place, the stakes are immense, and every experiment carries a measure of uncertainty. Theoretical physicists such as Stephen Hawking have warned of potential catastrophic events, such as vacuum instability or vacuum decay, which could hypothetically lead to irreversible consequences. While the probability of such events is low, their mere possibility sparks public fear and curiosity. For some, the LHC symbolizes humanity's relentless drive to master nature, a desire to harness and control the forces that govern the universe. For others, it is a tool of enlightenment, a gateway to understanding the fundamental nature of reality itself. The pursuit of knowledge, however, is not without consequences. As with all scientific endeavors, the path to discovery is fraught with ethical dilemmas and unforeseen risks. What happens when the power to explore the universe's deepest mysteries falls into human hands? Should we, in our quest for knowledge, pause to consider whether we are ready for the answers we might find? The idea of opening gateways to other dimensions, or even other universes, though largely speculative, feeds into our collective imagination. It is easy to see how the combination of extraordinary scientific advancement and profound existential questions could result in fears of unintended consequences. It is a delicate balance between discovery and caution, a tightrope that has defined humanity's journey through the scientific revolution and beyond. At the heart of these concerns lies a deeper question. How far are we willing to go in the name of progress, and what are we prepared to risk in our pursuit of the unknown? In the end, the LHC is more than just a machine. It is a reflection of humanity's insatiable curiosity, our desire to understand the universe in its most fundamental form. It is a symbol of both our greatness and our vulnerability. While we may never have all the answers, the questions raised by the LHC are central to our understanding of the universe. Even as we push the boundaries of what is possible, we must remember that every discovery opens up new avenues of inquiry new challenges, and new opportunities for exploration. Whether it ultimately proves to be a gateway to a deeper understanding of the universe or a harbinger of unforeseen consequences, the LHC's legacy will undoubtedly shape the course of scientific inquiry for generations to come. The pursuit of knowledge is a powerful force, and as we continue to explore the mysteries of the universe, we must proceed cautiously, mindful of both the promises and the risks that lie ahead.